Well, good evening, everybody. Welcome to another episode of Regeneration TV. Glad to have you here with us. I'm just going to share with you a few minutes of some things we've been doing at our ministry and the topic we're discussing. As you know, we're in March, and as I mentioned in the last video, this is Women's History Month, or Women's the Month for Women's Rights, and we're an emphasis on women and what they've been doing in history and the importance of women in our nation and in the world. And one thing that's really big right now that maybe you haven't noticed is the, the um, women's rights. And in particular, we are this, this month in our uh, teachings, we're focusing on the issue of abortion. And how this works into women's history and women's rights is that um, there's a lot of debate right now whether um, being able to have an abortion is a right for the woman. And uh, as you know, that's a very, very heated topic. There's going to be marches all over this month. I think at the end of the month, there's a big march in San Francisco. They're having them everywhere. Marches for women's rights, marches for pro-life. So there's, there's a lot of things going on and contending against each other. So we're going to do, we've been doing, like I said, a, a series on abortion. And we're doing a, um, we're doing a, uh, uh, what do you call it, a debate next week. So the next video you'll see is going to be about a debate. But we're doing it next week. And I just wanted to ask you to think about why do you think abortion is even important? Why is it something we should even discuss? Why, why does it matter? And I, if, if you've never asked that question before, I would encourage you to start asking it. Because uh, the reason why we're studying it is for one reason alone. And that's because we believe life is precious. And we believe that we should care for life we should love life like God loves life and like God loves us and the big question is that you know we haven't been telling you uh, everything we believe yet because we're letting our we're letting our um, young people search for the answers right now towards this debate um, but we believe that the reason why life is precious is found in Genesis chapter 1 verse 27 and it says so God created man is in his own image in the image of God he created him male and female he created them so the whole reason why we believe this is an important topic is because we believe every human being is created in the image of God and has value that there isn't any person on the planet no matter how ugly how poor maybe how deformed or you know, maybe they have um, uh, a disease or maybe uh, some like uh, maybe they have autism or maybe they have dementia or whatever it is. We believe every person, no matter who, no matter what, is made in the image of God and is precious in his sight. We believe every person is loved. And the big question we're discussing now is whether the person in the womb has that same image, bears that same in, image or not. Are they deserving of the value that any human life does? And you may not believe it, but it's a big, big topic. And again, we're going to have a little debate. We, nobody's debating really what they... We, we've, we didn't let people choose sides. We chose the sides for them. So they're going to be debating pro-choice, even though they may be pro-life. And uh, because we want them to learn both sides. So the question for you as we do this study is, where, where do you believe? Where are you at? Do you believe that the life in the womb is truly a human created in the likeness of God? Do they deserve the right to life like every one of us? Or is it true that a woman has the right to her own body and the, and the, the, um, the being inside, whether it's her right to terminate it or not? So again, this whole series is not to condemn people and not to... Um, tell you you're bad. We believe God has love and forgiveness for everyone, but to shine light on the truth. That is our goal. And we're searching for that. And again, next week we're going to have the debate. And then after the debate, we're going to get into it and start really getting into what the Bible teaches. So I hope you look forward to that. But now we just want you to start thinking about where are you? What are you where are you at? And what does the Bible say 
because we're going to be going over it these next few weeks. So I hope you'll stay tuned with us. If you have any, have any questions, feel free to email, get in touch. We would love to answer them and uh, um, help any way we can. So thank you for joining us. And we look forward to seeing you soon. Thank <laughs> you.